By May 10, 1917, the French had made considerable gains against the advance of German troops, and they also had other reasons to be proud of their heritage. For instance, they had recently captured an estimated 28,000 prisoners, while a monument to the Marquis de Lafayette by Daniel Chester French was being unveiled in Brooklyn. The Marquis is one of France's predilect sons, and the ceremony conducted with pomp and circumstance had as special guest some of the most important military and political dignitaries, including Commander-in-Chief Joseph Joffre and former Prime Minister René Viviani. Both had been, until the year before, conducting the affairs of France during the war. Lafayette was my first sort of really intimate uh, encounter with French. It was part of the, we had, we got some funding through the Adopt a Monument project in the 1980s. That's when I really saw some wonderful artistry because he's got the Marquis de Lafayette standing next to a very elegant thoroughbred horse with a groom. There's a groom standing holding the horse and the groom is an African-American man. And it's in sort of super relief that the sculptures come fully out of the bas relief. It's essentially just a big eccentric, almost a big <clears throat> bas relief, out of which come sort of a supersized horse, Lafayette and groom. And it was in very bad shape. It stood on Prospect Park West and was not really highly regarded by people they just kind of walked past it on their way into the park until we restored it and suddenly the neighborhood realized oh we have this really important work of art 